टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व पेपर सिक्स टू जीरो पेपर सिक्स वेरियंट वन मे जून ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द डायग्राम शोज द एपरेटस आर स्टूडेंट यूज टू प्रिपेयर अ ड्राई सैम्पल ऑफ क्लोरिन गैस क्लोरिन गैस इज मोर डेंस देन एयर हेयर दे हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द हिंट दैट इट्स मोर डेंस देन एयर You can see the apparatus in front of you, and this is a specific experiment used to prepare chlorine gas in a laboratory. Let's see the experiment once. In this picture, you can see the preparation of chlorine in the lab. Here you can see chlorine gas can be prepared by removing hydrogen from HCl using oxidizing agent like manganese dioxide, and for that we add concentrated hydrochloric acid to manganese dioxide. and then the mixture is heated and in the last line you can see since the chlorine is denser than air it is collected by using down downward delivery so that is the correct method of collecting the chlorine gas because it is heavier gas so in this picture they are showing a uh, they are showing the experiment flask 1 flask 2 in the flask 1 you can see manganese oxide is used as a Uh, oxidizing agent hydrochloric acid concentrated hydrochloric acid is added into it and in the flask 2 it is containing concentrated sulfuric acid and some boxes are left empty to label them let's see the answers complete the boxes to name the apparatus so this apparatus is called conical flask and the second apparatus is called gas jar The next question is that use the diagram to identify two mistakes the student made. In this picture, we can see that the student has not put the rubber bung here in the second flask, and they have already told you in the question that chlorine gas is a denser than air, and you can see here inverted gas jar to collect the chlorine gas. So heavier gases are not collected this way; they are collected by downward delivery. so i have written here that because chlorine gas is a heavier gas so it is collected by downward delivery so the answer is number 1 rubber bung is missing in the second flask and number 2 gas jar should not be inverted next question suggest one reason why the gas produced in the flask is passed through concentrated sulfuric acid Uh, as you know concentrated sulfuric acid is a uh, is a drying agent and it is used to dry the gases in the question they have mentioned it that they need the uh, dry sample of the gas that's the reason concentrated sulfuric acid is used to dry the gas so you will write to dry the gas or to remove the water as a dehydrating agent it is used next question is easier they say describe a test for chlorine gas Uh, so chlorine gas is tested by damp litmus paper and it is bleached out suggest so why experiment is done in a fume cupboard uh, as you know because chlorine gas is a poisonous gas or toxic gas so this experiment should be done in the fume cupboard question number 2 A student investigated the reaction between aqueous sodium carbonate and aqueous barium nitrate and it's a precipitation reaction a burette was filled with aqueous sodium carbonate and they filled seven test tubes as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 they used measuring cylinder here a measuring cylinder was used to pour 6 cm cube of aqueous barium nitrate into each of the seven test tubes in a test tube rack Uh, here they have shown that they gradually added first one cubic centimeters in test tube one, then two, then four, then five, six, seven, eight. So uh, different volumes of aqueous sodium carbonate were added gradually in the seven test tubes. A glass rod was used to stir the contents of each of the test tubes. the contents of the test tubes were left to stand until the solid formed had settled 
a ruler was used to measure the height of the solid form this is the way uh, we check the depth of the precipitate in the test tube use a ruler to measure the heights of solid formed in each test tube shown in the diagram record the heights of the solid formed in the table and complete the table so these values are to be put in this um, table volume of aqueous sodium carbonate into different test tubes 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 and here you have to take ruler and check the depth of the precipitate you can check on the scale the values and you have to measure the values in millimeter so you will change the centimeter into one centimeter into millimeter as it is 1.2 centimeter so it is 12 millimeter and after that we have to plot the graph question b plot the results on the grid draw two intersecting lines of the best fit label x axis so they have mentioned already you have to draw intersecting lines which will cross over each other the scale they have given already on x axis and y axis uh, you have to label the x axis as volume of aqueous sodium carbonate and the unit also and after that pick up the values from the above table and plot the graph you have to plot the graph between volume and height of solid for drawing graph first of all we will understand the scale here you can see this is the first big box and it is showing at 20 first of all you will count the number of boxes in the big box there are 10 small boxes so we will take the value as 20 divided by 10 and the answer is 2 it means that each box is counting as 2 here each small box is showing as 2 that's why this is coming as the center of the big box is as 10 and on the x-axis and on the x-axis the big box is 1 1 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.1 so each small box is counting as 0 0.1 our first point is between 12 millimeter and 1 cubic centimeters these lines are x axis and these these points are across y axis so here your first point is between 1 cubic centimeter and 12 millimeter as you know this is 10 so this will be 12 because each box is each small box is counting as 2 so your first point is plotted between 1 and 12 here similarly the second point is between 2 and 24 so this is 20 this is 22 and this is 24 this is how you will plot all the points and after that we will join the line by using scale here <coughs> and these lines will be drawn as intersecting lines you can see the intersection here next question is from your graph deduce the height of the solid formed when 3 cubic centimeters of aqueous sodium carbonate is added to 6 cubic centimeters of aqueous barium nitrate we have to take the value from the graph so here 3 cubic centimeters is added and this line is touching the graph at this point extend this line back to y-axis and it is showing at 36 millimeter so the answer is 36 millimeter is the answer describe the trend in heights of the solids formed in test tubes 
one two seven uh, we can see that in this picture the heights of the precipitate is increasing and then it becomes constant so we will write the same answer height of solid increases and then and then levels of or it becomes constant predict what would happen if the experiment were continued using the same three further test tubes each containing same yani 6 6 cubic centimeters of aqueous barium nitrate and then they add 9 cubic centimeters 10 cubic centimeters and 11 cubic centimeters of aqueous sodium carbonate to each one let us understand this question first so the question is asking that you continue this experiment with further test tubes before you used seven test tubes now you will continue <clears throat> further test tubes eight nine tenth eleventh and you will use same six cubic centimeters of barium nitrate and then add further volume of sodium carbonate so whatever uh, more amount of so so whatever more volume of sodium carbonate you keep adding it will not affect because the precipitation has occurred already because the reaction has completed already and the reactant has been used up barium nitrate has finished that's why it will not change the height of precipitate so answer will be height of solid will remain same because all the barium nitrate has reacted they are asking suggest one change to the apparatus used which could be made to obtain more accurate results as we discussed in the beginning they use measuring cylinder so you will write use pipette or burette to to measure aqueous barium nitrate next question is suggest a different method to measure the amount of solid form during experiment here they measured the height of precipitate another method is to filter the precipitate dry it and check the weight of the precipitate and this is how we can compare the the masses of the precipitate suggest how the reliability of re results could be checked uh, this is repeated question in paper 6 is and the answer is by repeating the experiment and com and comparing the results this is a part of each paper 6 in this question they ask about test of ions before they were not giving you the data uh, regarding test of ions but now they will give it to you so it's very easy for you no need to memorize all the test results it will be provided so you will just check it and answer it two substances solution f and solid g were analyzed solution f was dilute hcl and test on solution f complete the expected observations solution f was divided into four equal portions of four test tubes what is the ph of solution f as you know this is hydrochloric acid uh, so it is a strong acid so ph will be you can write one you can write two or you can write zero magnesium ribbon was added to the second portion of solution f the gas produced was tested second portion to the second portion of solution f so actually this is magnesium plus hcl and magnesium plus hcl produces magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas and how you know how to test hydrogen gas uh, what are the observations you can write so in the observations you know bubbles are produced because of gas production test is lighted splint for hydrogen gas and result is squeaky pop sound dilute nitric acid and aqueous silver nitrate were added to the third portion of solution f so, uh, solution f is having hcl yani chloride ion chloride ion with these reagents gives white precipitate dilute nitric acid and aqueous barium nitrate this is a specific test for sulfate ion uh, as you know sulfate ion is not present in hcl so there will be no reaction or no change test on solid g appearance of solid g was tested was studied it was white solid 
dilute hcl was added to solid g and it produced the gas produced was tested rapid effervescence turned lime water milky it means this is carbon dioxide gas and it is coming from carbonate salt carbonate ion and excess of sodium hydroxide was added to the first portion of solid solution from test 1 an excess of aqueous ammonia was added to second portion of solution from test 1 and it produced white precipitate formed which was insoluble in excess no precipitate formed and you know no precipitate is given by calcium ion it does not make any precipitate with aqueous ammonia so this is a calcium ion identify solid g it is calcium carbonate The next question they ask question number 4 steel nails rust in the presence of air and water plan an investigation to show the coating steel nails with paint helps to protect nails from rusting show that coating steel nails with zinc helps to protect nails from rusting determine which coating is more effective at protecting steel nails from rusting you are provided with uncoated steel nails steel nails coated with paint steel nails coated with zinc and common laboratory apparatus the last question of the paper 6 is to plan an investigation uh plan investigation designing an experiment and in this first, first of all try to think that what they are asking about and then um think about what method could be used to design the experiment and what could be the relevant laboratory apparatus and finally you have to give the conclusion so this method we can make sure to explain your answer including fair test it means you should maintain the same conditions of volume of concentration of temperature except the factor you are testing the other factors should be kept constant this is known to be fair test here we will take three nails and check their masses uh, weigh each so each nail and weigh each nail place nails in the beaker containing 500 ml of water any amount of water any volume of water could be mentioned leave nails in the water for one week almost you can write almost 7 days 8 days repeat experiment with equal number of nails and equal volume of water after one week reweigh the nails and nails with minimum mass increase has the best coating so this is the part of this is the conclusion here we have mentioned the method and equal number of nails and equal number volume of water is showing the fair test